Hey everyone, Ranger Liz here with a fun quick video about comics. Some big comic news happened in the last two days and I wanted to give them a little more attention than what they would have normally just gotten on the Ranger Week in review because these are massive things in the world of comics. The world of unlimited power. We are now going to be getting two new series, Power Rangers and Mighty Morphin. If you've been paying attention in the Ranger Week in review, I told you about there was a uh, limited edition uh, trade paperback that was went up on Amazon. It was like immediately taken down. If anybody had pre-ordered it, I found out this week that these were canceled. But now we get the confirmation for it. We're going to be getting two new series this fall. Mighty Morphin and Power Rangers. Two new teams. I'm loving this. I love what they set up with the Omega Rangers and how they get their own kind of thing. We'd been speculating what's going to happen after Mighty Morphin ends and here we go. If you are new, please hit that subscribe button and uh, like the video. I am Ranger Liz. I cover Ranger news every single week. Every Friday I do a show called the Ranger Week in Review. I cover everything in the world of Power Rangers and Tokusatsu. I do it every Friday and uh, I'd love if you're interested on in Power Rangers to take a look. We're going to start with the news that came out. Uh, this one actually came out uh, two days ago. This was uh, the first one, Mighty Morphin number one, and that's what you are looking at right now. I'm going to go ahead and scroll up this news. Everything I'm looking at right now is coming at you from Ranger Command Power Hour, so go give them some love. They're a really good friend of this show, and, uh, and I have a link to take you right there to them. So we're going to get two new series, two new teams, a new beginning for all things Power Ranger. So first thing, Mighty Morphin. I'm going to go ahead, zoom in, what you guys are all looking at first off here's just the art on it i think it looks great yes there is a little bit more to the right that uh the screen just isn't going to show there's a little bit more like to um to rocky i guess i was going to say jason but it's rocky uh over there but the green guy right there the green ranger is back so we're going to have the white ranger and the green ranger on the same team so when this first came out we're like wait a second like who is the Green Ranger, because okay, if Tommy's the White Ranger, is that going to be Lord Draken? There is a press release here, so let me go ahead and tell you what they are saying about it. The new Mighty Morphin team has assembled to take on the deadliest threats to Earth, but who is the all new Green Ranger? Yeah, that's actually exactly what I was saying. All right, so I'll just go ahead and leave the main cover up so you can take a look at this. The new Mighty Morphin team is on a collision course with an even deadlier Lord Zed. Remember, he was let out like he is really ticked now. Who has a new mission and a new motivation, one that will change everything you thought you knew about our heroes. But even if the Mighty Morphin team can find a way to survive Zed and their new mysterious new enemies, they may discover the greatest threat to their future is a shocking secret of Zordon's past. A new Mighty Morphin epic begins here Perfect for longtime fans and readers alike. So this automatically, you just kind of want to start speculating. You want to go over. This is going to be, uh, this is a line from writer Ryan Parrott. This is a brand new beginning for an all new Mighty Morphin team featuring characters you know and an all new Green Ranger. So when they're saying all new, you're like, I hope it's not Draken. Could it be Draken, and there is an update to that whenever we talk about uh, the other book that's going to be coming out, Power Rangers. So we'll have a little update for you that, so stay tuned. But on this one, uh, All New Green Ranger, this book is a chance to explore the past, present, and future of the team in ways you've never seen before. Well, coming out of Necessary Evil, there seemed like an opportunity to not only start fresh, but focus the story in on our new Mighty Morphin team like we haven't before and i think that's great because you know the omega rangers got a lot of the focus and stuff in mighty morphin so let them have their own thing it's time to let rocky adam and aisha shine plus this new green ranger at first a lot of people were thinking hey maybe this is going to be draken for the for the good for the bad again this uh, this was uh monday's information that came out but with new information i'm thinking maybe it's matt or it's just an oddball and we, we have absolutely no idea who it is but it's gonna have new artists this is fun so if you hadn't paid attention mighty morphin number 55 is going to be the last issue of it gogo power rangers has already ended uh the tmnt crossover that has already ended so we have these that are going to be on the way but then we also have <clears throat> excuse me don't forget we have the ranger slayer one shot that's coming out and then we also have uh the lord draken that is going to be coming out as well. That's a three-issue uh, miniseries, although I think it is going to focus a lot on Ranger Slayer as well. Oh, also, today is Wednesday. 
free comic book for Ranger Slayer. That free comic book is out today. So if you haven't checked out your local comic book store, please uh, give them a call. See if you can hold one back for you. I am hoping to get done recording this and get it up, pop the niblet in the car, and then we're going to go drive to the comic book store, wear your mask, wash your hands, and hopefully get some copies of the Ranger Slayer. Woo! Back to Mighty Morphin, the other thing, at hand uh the series is going to conclude my fresh number 55 on sale in october which also features the first appearance of the all-new green ranger so yeah if you want to get that lead in get the last issue of mighty Morphin power rangers number 55 that one on october in october and then you're going to get a preview of maybe maybe who it is or maybe just see the suit but we'll get a little taste of that as well uh print copies saying november 2020 as always i'm gonna have some links below like comicshoplocator.com so you can find your own local comic book store and then i'll have some links as well if you need to um where you might be able to get it online one thing before i swap over to talking about the power rangers though there is going to be a panel for san diego comic con at home it's going to be july 25th at 1 p.m pst uh, it's called Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, The Future is Now panel. Uh, and apparently you're going to get a very special preview of never-before-seen be never art, as well as behind-the-scenes information about the series and what's in store. A link for that as well will be in the uh, Ranger Command Power Hour. All the links and stuff, just go straight, go support Ranger Command Power Hour, and you can get all of the amazing links to everything I'm talking about right here. So this was it, and I'm going to scroll down really quick because I do want to show you guys some of the other covers or this is going to be a variant cover number one. I, it's got the Omega Rangers on it. It's got Crash and the whatever from Turbo. The fandom, it took us a minute to figure out how those guys were. Really, really fun art on it. Whoops. Back. And let's see. Here's this one right here. Mighty Morphin number one, which is the one where people are thinking, of course, maybe this is Draken because obviously it looks a little evil in it. So this is another one of the variant covers and so with that we are going to move to talking about power rangers number one and this one guys yeah new series power rangers number one i love the logo there's two new series two new teams a new beginning for power rangers makes me hype sometimes you know the, the power ranger world you guys may know things have been a little eh, but hey this always makes me really happy right they have a plan in the future and they're calling this by the way the era of unlimited power if you missed out on the first one the era of unlimited power so let me go ahead and show you uh, boom main cover art that is some like crazy three-eyed cat i don't know what that is guys but but i'm gonna tell you a little bit about it right here so power ranger number one reveals a new cosmic threat only the power rangers know oh <laughs> that only the original power rangers known as now as the omega rangers can hope to defeat but their secret secret weapon is and here you go Lord Draken! That, okay, well, that kind of threw, I hope not, man. I really hope he is not in two series at the same time. Like, I love Lord Draken, but come on, man, there is some saturation issues if he's going to be in both of these. So that's why I'm really hoping it's Matt when you talk about Mighty Morphin. But here you go, Power Rangers. Zordon forbids the Omega Rangers from contacting Draken. So if they want to save the universe, then they'll have to go rogue and go up against their Mighty Morphin allies. Is that the thing? Is that... So is that what Mighty Morphin? A new threat? And then you got Power Rangers teaming up with Draken to try to save the universe? I am I am so excited. So excited for this, guys. Uh, they have to go up against their Mighty Morphin allies. Uh, again, Brian Parrott's going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, scroll down so you guys can see some of the other covers. This is a variant cover. Danielle DiNicolio, who's done some of them, some amazing stuff. I'll go ahead and I'll settle it right there so you can see it. Sorry. There. So you can see it. And this one, oh my goodness. I Oh my goodness. This is, I, is this the one that makes me even more excited? Well, we spent several years building out the Power Rangers comic book universe and continuing the adventures of the Omega Rangers gives us a chance to fully explore it beyond the confines of the show. Yay! I want them to go to all of these different planets. I'm talking Master Rider, Miranoi, Win. Not only can we add more heroes, sorry, quote, not only can we add more heroes and villains, but we can also bring its elements from future seasons viewed through the lens of familiar characters. It's very exciting to explore new corners of the Power Rangers universe that fans have always imagined and also never expected. 
I'm excited to get Rocky, Adam, and Aisha. I am excited to whatever this is. But the but even more, we're going to be getting even more of this world building, this lore. I am so excited. And then when they say future seasons viewed from the lens of familiar characters. So maybe they're going to meet up with people who have been rangers in the past, but now it's the future. Or maybe they're going to meet with people before they're rangers. There's so much they can do because it's comics. They can, If you can dream it and you can draw it, you can make it happen. As long as Hasbro okays it. Do you have to worry about that? But... I, I am so, so very excited to see all of this. I'm going to show you this other one, though. This this is the one, this variant cover. I must own this variant cover. It is just clean. It's Just take a moment. Just beautiful, beautiful cover of Jason. Um, a quote from the authors. Uh, quote, I know that many readers are waiting to see where the new team's adventures will take them. As a fan myself, I can't wait to show everyone exactly what I've been working on. It'll blow your minds. Uh, it's from Francisco uh, Mortorino, who is going to be one of the illustrators. I am... This is crazy. So here's another one from Daphne Evner. Quote, Lord Draken is back, but he will save the Power Rangers. Or does he have his Arthur plan in mind? I don't know. I don't care. I mean, I'm excited to see him back in some instances. I just don't want it absolutely everywhere. Uh, stay tuned, guys. Obviously, more comic book stuff is going to be coming out. I'm going to try to catch that Ranger Slayer free comic book day that is out today. So check uh, your local comic book shops. See what you can to get it. I, I don't really want to encourage having to buy it second market, but I I understand. It is what it is. If you live, It's an hour and a half to get to a comic book store by the time you factor in gas and time and whatever. I'm not saying you, you don't got to do what you got to do to get the comic book. I'm just saying, try to support a local comic book store if you can. Uh, stay tuned again, July 25th. It's going to be that panel, and I am excited to see what we are going to be getting. How excited are you? Who do you think maybe the Green Ranger is going to be? Again, I said it's maybe going to be Matt because we already have Draken coming back in a different one. But wow, I, I'm loving the art. I'm loving what I at least have been told so far. But I want to know what you guys think. I've got a whole bunch of news. Otherwise, uh, coming up for you Friday on the Ranger Week in Review. Again, we cover everything Power Rangers and everything Tokusatsu. I do it every Friday. So if you liked this, please check out any of my other videos. My name is Ranger Liz. Have a happy and safe Wednesday. I love you. Wear a mask. Toodles!